Hi everyone, welcome to Embroider 369. In today's video, we will see how Bluetooth low energy works in ESP32. Actually, in this tutorial, I will give you the basic idea about BLE and I will give you the proper demo of how the BLE will work. So, if you want to understand the complete BLE stack in depth, so what is happening in the BLE, the packet structure, so everything is given in this particular book, Getting Started with Bluetooth Low Energy by Kevin Townsend. So this particular book, like they have given the in-depth understanding about the BLE. So it is always good to refer to this particular book. So the BLE is used to transfer data to the shorter distance. The reason being it is low power. As you can see, the classical Bluetooth is always on. But the BLE will be activated only at the time of data transmission. And also it is a server and client based protocol. I am using you now in, in this demo, I will be using ESP32 as a server and my mobile phone will act like a client. Through that I will send and receive data. So the server will advertise its ex existence and client will uh, listen to it like if the device is fine it will be connected. How it will be connected? So there is something called GATT. So GATT, it stands for generic attribute. So there, there is in Bluetooth stack, it is a particular structure actually. So whenever the server create, create a service, so it will have a UEAD. So with this UEAD only, the client will like communicate. That's how it will identify the device actually. So the server will identify which particular client is connected. So through the UEAD only, it will identify. Even the message, whatever the message we send, even that also, also it has a unique UEAD. So all these details I will provide in description box. You can always go through this. So now let's see the BLE implementation. For that first we have to do what we have to do. First uh, let's go to my GitHub repository. Just go to ESP32. Then in the BLE section. So there is a code actually. So this is the code we will be using it. So first create a project. I will be creating a template project only. Type random plus create a project using the templates. So Bluetooth nimble. So here BLE mess is there. So just finish. So just open the project. Nine. So here what you have to do? Just direct this one. Just direct this one. Copy my code, paste it here, save it, and check whether the ESP is connected properly or not. Yeah, it is connected. So you have to just build the project now. Just build the project. The project is building. The project is building. So this is the button used to build the project. So it is still loading here. And check it here. In the corner. So let's this thing to complete. So now you can see it. It is complete, successfully built. The, now the project is successfully built. Now let's see the project. So these are the include files we used for this project. So the first one, this particular function is used to uh, so the data like if i send the data from the mobile phone like i'll be using a like for the demonstration i'll be using a bl app from the bl app i will send the data to esp32 that 
uh, that whatever the data I am sending from my mobile phone to ESP32, that it will print it here actually. So this particular function is to read the data. So the data which is which I am sending from the ESP32 to the mobile phone, that for that purpose, this particular function is used. And this is the structure to define the UUIDs actually. So in the earlier I explained about the UUID how it works. So this this structure is responsible for that. And this is a BLE gap event actually. So this is a very important uh, event actually will be happening in. So this while giving the de demo, I will just explain you about this function also how it works. And BLE gap organization. And this and then our comes to our main function. So in our main function, so these are the APIs like which I used to like define the BLE server. So ESP32 will act like a server and our mobile will be like a client actually. So this BLE server. So this, in this particular name it will advertise and from my our, our mobile phone we have to connect it to this BLE. So for the demons, uh, demonst demonstration purpose what I am doing is I am just created an, an integer, integer variable. So I will just increase the integer uh, like each and, each and every second actually. So that we can read that read read the data and check it like the data from thousand onwards it will keep on incrementing and that, that we can check it in our mobile phone. So now let's move to the demo. Before moving to the demo, I'll just upload the code to my ASP32. Just uploading my code to my ASP32. So it is done. Let's open the serial monitor. So yeah, it is done. Now let's check our mobile phone. Keep it in the corner. So what you have to do is you have to download this VLE scanner app from Play Store you can easily download it. I am just opening that, uh, that one. For that you have to just turn on your location and your Bluetooth. So these things should be like uh, turned on. Doesn't matter. Uh, this Bluetooth and location. Yeah, these two things should be on. Then you have to just scan it. If you scan it you can check it here. The VLE server. So this name we have provided here, right? So BLE server, this particular name only, it will come here. I'll just connect to it. Just press the connection. So you can check it here. BLE gap event connected working. So that is what BLE event. So it will show it here only. This event, whatever, like if I connect, it will it will show connected okay. BLE connected okay. Let's say if I disconnect, I'm just disconnecting it. So it will disconnect it. Again, it will try to advertise. So we have to advertise it again in order to connect it again. So it is advertising it. You can check it here. It is advertising. So if you don't, if you don't put this particular line, it will not advertise. So you can only connect it once. Again, you cannot connect it. So this particular uh, line is very important actually to connect back in case if it is disconnected. So every time it is disconnected, you have to uh, like uh, it, it will auto days again. You have to connect it. So I'm just connecting it for a demo purpose. So I'll just write uh, some random text. Let's see whether we are able to read it here. Just typing a text. Yeah, as you can see it. I'm getting the data here. So let's read the data. So what I'm doing it here for the reading purpose, I'm just I'm using a variable called BLE sense. So from this variable, I'm just incrementing this particular uh, integer. 
so for that this read this particular function is responsible responsible for that so i am passing that variable here blsn so this is a character variable actually so this variable i am updating it here actually i am updating this variable here let's check that so in this section there is something called r you have to just press the r so if you ask it it will show the data actually i'm just pressing the r now you can check it here so it is incrementing you can check it here yeah just keep on pressing the r you can check it here the number is increasing so it will not always show the data like when we ask ask for it then only it will show the data so like if you ask for the data then only it will show so that's the advantage of the ble so that's a difference between the classical bluetooth and the ble bluetooth because in ble like when you ask for the data then only it will show it that's the beauty of this ble that's how it is like low power consumption it will not always send the data so from this tutorial you might have got some idea about how to work on ble in esp32 i hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe see you on next tutorial have a nice day